from zero computers in the 70s to zero doubt in 2020s welcome to amaravati where india has just launched its first ever quantum computing village let's break it down led by the real time governance society this village is being designed as a full stack quantum ecosystem meaning it could be a working model of what india's tech economy could look like in 2035 with 8000 crore rupees committed under the national quantum mission the goal is basically clear build 50 to 100 qubit co- quantum computers by 2031 and this village it's the first step so at its core we have the ibm's most advanced system yet the quantum system 2 which is powered by the heron 156 qubit processor it's basically the same hardware that's rewriting algorithms in the united states and now it's coming to amaravati so thanks to a partnership between ibm tcs and the government of andhra pradesh the quantum valley tech park is set to become asia's most advanced quantum hub added to that we have an on site data center research incubators and shared access programs for startups and researchers alike So TCS will co-develop the algorithms across various sectors like life sciences, energy, cryptography and supply chain. And Andhra Pradesh wants to anchor its future economy on quantum innovation. As CM N Chandrababu Naidu said, Andhra Pradesh will lead the global quantum revolution. So back in Bengaluru as well, another leap just took place. QPI AI, which is also selected under the National Quantum Mission, launched india's first full stack quantum computer with 25 superconducting qubits they're integrating quantum hardware ai agents and even building their own silicon so by 2030 they aim to scale to 100 logical qubits which is basically enough to tackle real world problems in drug discovery materials and climate action besides qpi ai has already filed 11 patents secured by sidbi support and develop proprietary agentic ai systems that both manufacture and calibrate qubits more or less sounds like science fiction right but no this is basically india's new deep tech reality and end of the day the future of computing is hybrid it's a mix of classical computing quantum computing and ai so india has a unique advantage it has the world's largest stem talent pool a growing deep tech startup ecosystem and several state pack missions that actually fund bold bets so with companies like tcs qpi ai and qo new labs already in the game india's strategy is to more or less build shape and export tech instead of just waiting for it to mature first and under the national quantum missions four thematic hubs have already been launched across computing communication sensors and materials so this means that startups can now receive up to 25 crore rupees in funding which is a first in india's deep tech policy history and behind this push is a bold vision that india needs to be a product nation so the next time someone asks if india is quantum ready show them the village of amravati so we covered it first here right on the front page and let us know what you think in the comment section below for more insightful stories just like this follow and subscribe to aim tv because after all think ai think quantum and think aim